They took animation from the East and spiced things up with voices from the West. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 English dub anime voice actors in TV. You've got plenty of people waiting for you and your brother to get your bodies back. If you believe the possibility exists, then you should do whatever it takes. For this list, we've taken English-speaking voice actors who've provided some of the best dubs in anime series based on their range and the characters in their arsenal. You just managed to make new friends everywhere you go. Number 10, Travis Willingham. Maybe I could lend you a hand. That unmistakable deep voice could only belong to one of the most fan-loved voice actors out there. While his lower-pitched verbal stylings have landed him roles like Yukonda from D. Grayman and Mori from Uron High School Host Club, he's also managed to alter his signature vocal depth, so it extends to characters like Charlotte Kuhlhorn from Bleach, and boy does he have fun with it. Don't you dare give me orders! Of course, we can't forget his most memorable role as Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. Talk about depth. I doubt a moron like you could pull that off. Number 9. Colleen Clinkenbeard. The last thing I'm gonna do is start crying for you now. Water makes him useless. It can be hard for a female voice actor to pull off male roles. That is, unless you're this woman, in which case you slam it. He's right! Just start shooting at these white guys! Notable for playing strong characters like Riza Hawkeye in Full Metal Alchemist, Clinkenbeard is almost as well known for playing One Piece protagonist Luffy. Till I defeat you, I won't drop to the ground ever again! Why is this impressive? This character is notable for screaming a lot, and Colleen manages to pull it off perfectly. Number 8. Christopher Sabat. I solemnly swear, from this moment forward, that I will never lose again! Known for working behind the scenes of the voice acting business just as much as he's behind the mic, Christopher Sabat has lent his dulcet tones to many anime icons. Known to voice mainly rough and tough kind of characters, it's no wonder he was cast as Zoro in One Piece. I'm sorry for disappointing you. And our personal favorite, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. We never get tired of hearing him. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I am the strongest and I will prove it. Just look at me. I have changed. Number 7. J. Michael Tatum. Don't be silly. It's just me. This man has quite the talent for accents. With his natural flair for suave characters, like Kyoya from Uran High School Host Club, J. Michael Tatum has shown that no matter where in the world his character is from, he'll pull it off without a hitch. If you want to, you can pay me back with your body. Key examples of this include his romantic embodiment of France from Hitalia Axis Powers. I recognize him from his sexy air because it is so much like my own, but not as good. Are you trying to imply there might be something wrong with my hair, sir? I don't know. That depends on if you're sick looking like a punk is wrong. As well as the quintessential British gentleman Sebastian from Black Butler. The silver is polished to a spotless shine. The tablecloth is crisp, clean, and wrinkle-free. There is not a single bruised blossom among Master's favorite white roses. Number 6. Stephen Bloom Now then, shall we begin this? If you've ever watched a dubbed episode of anime, chances are you've heard Stephen Bloom's voice. With a deep pitch that can range from heroic to villainous within seconds, it's no wonder he's voiced so many memorable characters. Among his roster are heroes like Mugen from Samurai Champloo and Roger Smith from The Big O. Yo, hit the deck. What the? As for the bad guys, he has no equal as Orochimaru from Naruto. That was foolish. And Shishio from Rurouni Kenshin. And of course, there's his main character from the dub that trumps even its Japanese counterpart, Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Now hand it over. Sure, I'd be glad to. I have to pay you back, don't I? Number 5. Monica Rial. I said who is this? Pleased to meet you. My name is Mei Chang, sir. All hail the queen of anime. Currently the most prolific voice actor in the United States, 
Monica Rial has voiced over 300 characters in various anime. And her range is incredible. Stretching from young children like Mei Chang from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood to eccentric adults like Mei Rin from Black Butler. I'm so sorry, sir. My glasses cracked and I can't see a thing. And finally, to broken souls like Asa from Shuffle. Keep up the great work, Monica. Oh, that's a good idea. Number four, Crispin Freeman. Don't try to talk. Ladies, prepare yourselves. With a rich and booming voice, it's no surprise that Crispin Freeman has drifted towards some of the manlier and darker characters. That's why I live the way I did. And Witsei Tsume from Wolf's Reign and Itachi Uchiha from Naruto fall more into the manlier category. Who knows? Who cares? But our pick has to go to the batshit insane sadistic killing machine that is Alucard. You're starting to bore me, let's cut to the chase. And you have to give Crispin credit. He sure knows how to pull off a psychotic laugh. <laughs> what? Is something funny? I'm just pleased, that's all. The world would be so boring without idiots like you to amuse me. Number three, Vic Mignogna. Stand back and enjoy the show. One of the most well-known voice actors around, Vic Mignogna is best known for his award-winning portrayal of Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, one of the most recognized and popular anime protagonists of all time. There has to be a way to get him back. There's gotta be. Think, damn it. Think it through. Aside from his talent for portraying young male characters, he's also been able to turn on the charm with older types like Tamaki from Oren High School Host Club. I'm afraid if I drink this, my father will yell at me. What if I let you drink it from my mouth? Well, then I would drink it. <laughs> and Dark Mousy from DN Angel. And he's not one to shy away from the badasses either. Ikaku Matarame, anyone? Well, I've got a surprise for you. Fun <laughs> Number two, Todd Haberkorn. Hey, Anjali, are you okay? What's happened? Ah, I was waiting for you, Germany. He's lent his voice to many characters that tend to have a few screws loose. But that just makes them all the more compelling. I'm a horrible, disgusting person who doesn't deserve to live another day. <laughs> for example, he's played fan favorites like Death the Kid from Soul Eater and Italy from Hetalia Axis Powers plus a few major roles as main leads Natsu from Fairy Tale and Alan Walker from D. Gray Man. I want a rematch when we get back to Fairy Tale. Always with a pinch of fun and zaniness, you can't fault this voice actor for going for the fun roles. I'm fired up! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I kind of borrowed that move, but from here on in, it's all original. Hey, Maka! Get over here! Why should I? You said you were fine with me reading a book on the sidelines. That's the only reason I agreed to come. I know the smell. Is this T.O. Gray? Number one, Johnny Young Bosch. Hey, couldn't you guys be just a little bit more gentle? He went from Power Rangers to anime superstardom. Often playing the badass anime protagonist, Johnny Young Bosch has voiced some of the most recognizable and famous characters. And heroes like Vash from Trigun, Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach, and Kiba from Wolf's Reign are just a few. Someone gets you, what the hell? Why are you doing this? But don't let that fool you, he's got range too. Anti-hero Lelouch v. Britannia from Code Geass and young Renton Thurston from Eureka 7 show just how versatile he can be. That's off to you, Johnny. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? I get it. There's absolutely no reasoning with you people. Which English dub anime voice actor is your favorite? For more of your favorite top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What happened? Is it over?